When priming the hydraulic system, caution must be used in order to keep from damaging the diaphragm. When you receive your new Promise pump from the factory, the hydraulic system has already been primed and ready to run. Before you start the pump, prime the process side and apply back pressure as soon as possible. This keeps the diaphragm balanced. Do not prime the hydraulic system of a new pump. The pump is ready to start pumping fluid as soon as you plug it in. After diaphragm replacement, the following has to be performed. Prime the process side of the pump with process fluid up to the discharge valve. If this is not possible, then make sure that there is air being released and that the pump is pulling fluid in the suction line while priming the hydraulic side of the pump. Remove the adjusting screw, the spring, the washer, the relief poppet from the relief tower. Start the pump, turn the stroke adjuster to 20% stroke. Add small amounts of hydraulic oil into the tower. This will allow the hydraulic oil to enter behind the diaphragm on the suction stroke and the air to be released on the discharge stroke. When you notice that the oil rises and falls in the tower and there's no more air, turn off the pump. Keep in mind each time you add hydraulic oil, the hydraulic oil fills behind the diaphragm and bulges the diaphragm towards the liquid end. The next step is very important to keep the diaphragm from rupturing towards the liquid end. Turn off the pump. Install the relief poppet, the washer, the spring, the adjusting screw. Turn the adjusting screw down until it just touches the spring and back it off one complete turn. Leaving the adjusting screw backed off one complete turn will allow the poppet to lift and release excess hydraulic fluid back to the drive case. 
If there is pressure on the relief valve spring and the diaphragm is up against the liquid end because of normal priming, the excess hydraulic oil will rupture the diaphragm because there's no back pressure on the process side of the diaphragm. The fluid pressure has to be balanced on both sides of the diaphragm. This is also why it's important to build up back pressure as soon as possible on the process side. Restart the pump. Let the pump run for a few moments. Notice the air being discharged. Allow the pump to run for a few moments. Turn the adjusting screw until it just touches the relief valve spring. Start building back pressure on the process side. Allow the pump to relieve to purge any air from the hydraulic system. Turn the adjusting screw down until it bottoms up. Back it off two complete turns. Slowly increase pressure on the process side until you achieve the desired pressure. Take the pump to 10% above the desired pressure. If the pump goes into relief, turn the adjusting screw until it stops relieving. Once you have achieved the 10% above operating pressure, back off the adjusting screw until the pump relieves, and then back off the discharge pressure until the desired pressure is achieved. You have completed priming the hydraulic system. Allow at least one arm for the pump to stabilize. 